Okay, so we have the grad for roles. Create new role, edit and delete that. Let's do the same for permissions. Right now we don't have any permission yet, but let's first let's add a link here and create a new permission. Let's open the I'm going to open first the role index. And okay, so here I'm going to copy this one. And let's navigate now to the permission index. And I'm going to change the head to be permissions. Then in the H1 here, remove or replace with what we have copied, change the role to be permission. Index page and also the route is going to be permissions. In create and let's say here a new permission. Okay, then we have the ID name action, which is the same. Okay, good. Now let's open the controller, the permission controller, and on the create, first let's add here a return type inertia response, then let's return. inertia render and we are going to create a page inside the admin slash permissions permissions slash and I'm going to name it create that page okay and let's open the resources js Pages inside the admin, we have roles, and I'm going to go here, select all, copy, and now let's go in the permissions folder and create new file, new view component. And I'm going to name it create, and now paste it here. We need to change something here because this is for roles. So we don't need this checkbox and let's move. The name is the same, the form is the same. Let's say create new permission as a title. Then the route is going to be not roads index, but permissions index. Go back, okay, create new permission. Also on the H1 inside the form, and we say form prevent form post route to the not roles store but permission store permissions store. Okay, then input label for name. Okay, and create. That's good. Now let's open again the controller and on the we have this request but let's create a custom request so open the terminal and I'm going to say artisan make a request give it a name and I'm going to name it a create permission okay hit enter now let's close and let's open that permission create permission request change the authorized to be true and here let's return just the name which is going to be the same as the role name so here is going to be required then I'm going to say it's going to be string also let's add a maximum of uh, 100 characters and then because I'm going to use this also on the update, I'm going to add a rule to be unique to the permissions table and exactly to the name column. And also I'm going to add ignore this 
ID, so this uh, permission. Okay, let's close this and on the create a good. Now on the store, let's update this to be create permission request. Response type is going to be, return type is going to be uh, redirect response. And here now, let's say permission create, pass here the request validated. Okay, and now let's return to the route and pass here the route, which is permissions.index. Okay, we need also to add uh, those notification, but not in this video. And let's see now if everything is okay. A refresh, we have a new permission here. Let's click and let's say create. Yeah, we have a name field. It's required, very good. And let's say uh, a permission for create user. So I'm going to say create user permission. If I say create. We redirected back and we have the create user here. Let's add one more and I'm going to say update user. Let's create that. Okay. Let's do the same. And let's say delete user. And everything works. Okay. Now if I type again this create user. Yeah, the name has already been taken. Okay, friends, that's it about this video. Oh, we can uh, create a new permission. If you like, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video. I hope you enjoy and see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you very much.